Hey YouTube, um, quite a serious thing happened yesterday, you, I'll show you but that is quite a bit messy but there's a good reason for that. Um, as you can see the pigs are not in their usual spot because like, my whole room is an absolute tip at the minute. I had spent ages tidying it but it's all been, everything's everywhere again which is quite annoying but I'm quite, I'm not too bothered because of what happened. Well, every Monday I go to my best friend's house because we go to an after... It's not really to do with the school, but it's like after school. It's just a netball club. We go to that every Monday, so I usually go for my dinner at her house. And then her mum takes us and then my mum will pick us up and drop my friend off. And I'll pick my stuff up. Um. Well, when I got in the car from netball, my mum said there'd been a funny smell. Well, all the lights had gone out in the house. And... Like, the upstairs main lights in the room were working, and some of the sockets were working. But my mum didn't understand. She, she wondered where the power was coming from to keep those ones okay. And we live in a semi-detached house, so, like, our next-door neighbours, all their power was on as well. Um, so, and she said my brother came into my room to see if my lights were working, and he said there was a funny smell. So, when I got home... There's like Luna's still in her usual place. There's stuff lying around her cage as well. Um, when I got home, I picked Luna up, and I like I came into my room, and I did smell. C it smelled like as if I don't know if you know I've heard of party poppers before, but it's like a little tub that's got like powder stuff in it, and you pull a string, and the the cardboard end pops off, and like a load of like streamers pop out. They might not be called party poppers everywhere, but that's what I call them. Um, it smelled like as if one of those had went off. So I grabbed, I picked up Luna because she was out and she was awake. I took her downstairs to tell my mum that, yeah, there was a funny smell. I came back upstairs, put Luna back in, turned around to see if all the pigs were okay. Then all my lights started flickering and then I heard this huge big popping noise. And that socket over there, that's which is behind, you can kind of see the markings. There's like those lines, that's where Poppy Rosie's cage goes. So it's just behind that part of this cage when it's over there started like smoking there was black smoke belting out of it and there was flames <laughs> which you do not want to see right behind your guinea pig's cage so I'll show you so luckily there was an electrician because our neighbours we told their neighbours because we like that's basically their house um, and they said we said they said we'd get an electrician out tonight for you and we said oh it's not it's because it was about um, the back at eight or something at night and they, we said oh no it's fine we can wait till tomorrow and I said no we'll just get them out for you tonight so luckily he was here so I like like took like, I was so in shock and so panicked and was freaking out because obviously that is not the kind of thing you really do not want to see right next to your guinea pigs so first thought I thought I'll pull the cages out but considering the size and since they're all grids, which is metal, it's quite heavy and I didn't pull in the right place so I ended up pulling the door off of Poppy and Rosie's cage and then my mum came running upstairs because my wee sisters went and got her. This, luckily the flames had stopped but there was still smoke coming out of it. We grabbed the carry cages, there's one still sitting up there, and threw all the pigs in the carry cages. I ran and told my dad to turn the electricity off at the main, like the main switch. I grabbed Luna's little bed and stuffed her in her bed and put a wee window over it so she couldn't get out and just me and my brother ra grabbed all the carry cages and just ran outside with them so apparently there was like the electricity there was two wires I think had like disconnected so the electrician thinks that it was either a faulty faulty socket so that's that's not my old one you can actually see there's like that's where it's like charred and that was plugged in at the time and it's like Oh, it's not really melted, but it's like black, covered in soot and stuff. I was quite surprised because the pig cages never, the chloroplast never got melted, and it's like looks absolutely fine. Um, so we ran outside with those. An electrician thinks that it's either a faulty plug or it's just because the house is really old. It's just like through wear and tear. But he said it wasn't. It wasn't our fault that there wasn't like too many things plugged in or anything, because that's. That's actually an extension cord that leads up to there because my bedside lamp doesn't fit all the way down there. So 
because the pig's lamp is plugged in up there too. Um, so I don't know when he's coming back to fix it. So he just stuck this one on backwards. He reconnected all the wires because that we had to do that to stop, like to get all the other lights and stuff in the house working. Because when electricity, if a link in it breaks, it like this that socket. I don't think my mum turned that off, so it was still on. So the electricity was trying to jump from the next wire, to, like from one wire to the next, and I don't know. Like I never saw it. I just ran out the room. And um, that's why it went on fire and stuff. But as soon as I got outside, I grabbed Dandelion out of her box and was just like cuddling her and stuff. But I was quite upset because I didn't, I wasn't bothered about my room quite clearly. It was just I've never seen the guinea pigs in so much danger before, so it really freaked me out. Um, so I was like crying and stuff. And but Dandel, none of the pigs like it when I cry. I don't know, they hate the noise of it and they just sit and burr and I don't know if they're scared like, because they don't, I don't, like, I never really do it often so they don't really know what it is so they don't like it so she wasn't very comforting she was just sitting burring at me and I think then Poppy and Rosie they were in that little red one red and white one and the lid's a bit dodgy but I never had time to grab the lid so I just, my brother brought a tea towel out so I sat that over it and Rosie because they could smell grass because they were sitting on the grass she wanted out because she wanted to eat the grass so she kept poking her head out trying to get out and Luna was taking a freaky trying to bite her way out of her little bed so I ended up taking her out and sitting in her because it, since it's been hot my wee sister had the paddling pull out and it was like dry inside so and she couldn't climb out of it so I just sat her in there to run around but it was quite scary and I was I just didn't, don't want to think as to what could have happened if we were any later home? Because my bedroom door wasn't far open, and I don't know if the pigs would have started squeaking if um, there was like smoke and stuff. And it would have been a lot harder to catch them if the back of their cage had been set on fire or anything. So, not very good. Now I'm terrified to use that socket, like even when it is going to be fixed. But my ladder from a bit, my. my um, high bed, I think that's what you call this thing, has to go there now, when it usually goes over there, but the pig cage is there obviously, so there's like an extra big railing that I have to try and clamber over now, and the lamp shade's right above it, so I keep smacking my head off of that, so, but apart from that, all the pigs are doing fine, I don't think any dandelion got a big fright, because nobody's really ever like handled her, handled her like that, because my mum, she was trying to like, be fast but she didn't want to like hurt them in any way but she was just trying to do it really fast to get them out of here because we didn't want them inhaling any of the smoke or anything so dandelion that's never nobody's ever done that to dandelion before so she'd really went and released quite a bit of her hair because the guinea pigs do that when they're scared so there was she's not bald at all but there's like wee, wee bits you can see where she's let out quite a bit of hair but apart from that, they seemed fine. I just brought, when I brought it, was safe to come back in again. I just put them, brought them back in, and just gave them all a big handful of hay, and they've they just sat and ate that. So I don't think they were too phased by it. I think I was the one who was in a bit more shock than them. Yeah. But I would have took my fish outside, but I don't really think if it because the electrician and my mum and my dad were in here. And we'd brought up the little fire extinguisher we had because I didn't know how bad it was. And oh, and it's such a heavy tank and I don't really think I could lift a tank that big outside. You can see, oh sorry, that blue, that's Luna's maze, that blue thing there, that's the fish's tank. It's really big. So uh, there was no way, I, I, can't, I can barely push it across the carpet. And I'm not, I'm quite a strong person and I could barely move it. So... There's no way I would be able to lift that downstairs, even with like, like adrenaline and everything from being in such a state of shock. But yeah, I thought I'd let you know that, just in case my next video the pigs are still over here. And there is a random shoe up there. It's not my shoe, it's a teddy bear shoe. That's why all that stuff's over there, and yeah everything just got thrown over there and when I came back inside from being outside the pig cages had been pulled out but they were like just forward from what they usually were but 
popping roses, but it had been like completely demolished, and all the pigaloos and their part of their cage was all thrown inside of there. So luckily, nothing, nothing's actually broken, but I did have to use connectors to reconnect everything. So that's why my room isn't at. Well, it's not. There's a path, obviously, to here. Like I'm sitting underneath my bed at the minute. There's a small path, and I just have to rehook my ladder up to get back up to my bed. <laughs> but the funny thing is, I quite like having the pigs here because it's a lot easier to get into them and just to like if it was slightly more this way towards me I think it would be even easier because then I could actually get over to that side to get dandelions lot but I can't keep them here because <laughs> there's not enough like there is a lot of room in my room but I like to have the floor cleared so that when it, if the pigs are getting floor time they'll have room yeah there's pop I'll zoom in. She's strange at drinking. There she is. <laughs> she like sticks her bottom tooth up into the bottle and then all this water drips down. So she gets a really wet chin and then that's what that bowl's for to try and catch the drips. Oh, there's Dandelion. Willow was being funny. She was. I was sitting here with some music on a minute ago. And she was sticking her wee nose out wondering what I was doing. That is Willow, sort of. And there's Birduck. <laughs> I got some cute photos of Birduck wearing one of my, two of my brother's hats. Okay, bye.